Welcome to day three of the 30-day libertarian reading challenge. The real day three this time. <laughs> and today we have Wilhelm Ropke, whose dates are 1899 to 1966. He was schooled in the tradition of the Austrians. He studied political institutions. Ropke defended sound money and free trade and attacked welfare. What a resume. And that's a nice distinction. So, I'm ready to... Uh, Offer you the job. Uh, what, what exactly? What exactly have you been doing? I've been fighting welfare for my career. All right, on. I'll hire you. Yeah. Quite, what a what a nice resume. Rupke's got. Uh, this article was written in 1954, and uh, it's called "Free Economy and Social Order." And it's all about property. Property. The market-based economy really rests on the institution of property. And also, he says, the freedom of prices and competition. And real property. You know, he's like, and not sort of property just in name only, but property you can actually give, you know, pass down to, the, to whoever you want after you, after you die. That's kind of an important element of property. So he's like, you know, real property is what we're talking about. So yeah, it's, 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 it's the market economy rests on uh, freedom of prices and, and the private property itself. I, I like this. He's talking about the role of private property in culture, and he's talking about the difference between bourgeois values and uh, these proletariat values. Of course, bourgeois values. He says they're these are the values that are necessary for a market-based economy to work, to flourish. It always flourishes. That's what working means. And it's it's flourish. It's all about growth. We're, of course, we're growing. What are those? What are some of those bourgeois? Values. Well, elementary things are respected, he says. I'll give you some examples. Individual responsibility, a respect of certain indisputable norms, the individual honest and serious struggle to get ahead and develop his faculties. Who does that? Independence anchored in property, uh, responsible planning of one's own life and that of one's family, <laughs> thriftiness. These are, what an anti American. Thinker, these Aust uh, this this Austrian is, and all of the Austrians actually, they're so anti-American, are they not? The sense of work of workmanship, the right relation to nature and the community, the sense of the natural order of things. <gasps> Ooh, natural order! I love that concept. But what do we actually have today? It's not like we have all these bourgeois values. It's actually uh, proletariat uh, values or proletariat. Uh, what, does he, what does he call it? Proletarianized values. Like this mass society. Not a good thing. It, 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 has, it, it has this lack of a solid hierarchical and hierarchical uh, structure, he says. Uh, you know, it doesn't value, doesn't respect property or independence or, you know, saving, thrift, responsibility, any of these things I just mentioned. It doesn't respect that. Uh, oh, you know, Keynes said famously, "In the long run, we're all dead." Well, you know, that's 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 just that's great, but uh, I suppose we are. Keynes is is dead at this point, but uh, what a bad comment! What a just what an all-around bad comment! Why did people even like that at the time? You know, that's, there's there's uh, the only logic to that is. Nothing. I mean, we're going to die. Yeah. Uh, so let's just not plan anything, I suppose, except for the entire economy. You know, trust us to plan the entire economy, even though we're we're suicidal because we have this philosophy of in the end we're all dead, so nothing matters. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, he kind of he ends this article by saying, what we've really lost is the respect for money, the respect for property, but the respect for money. He says, respect for money is an essential part of the social order and of the mentality, which are the prerequisites of the market economy. So let's, let's develop these bourgeois values for ourselves and pass them on to others. And let's continue on. I hope you're reading these, these articles along with me. And uh, on to day four.